Footage filmed by a witness has shown the moment an overcrowded boat capsized in Lake Kivu in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, killing at least 78 people. In the video that was shot on Thursday, the vessel is seen tilting on an angle before sinking into the body of water. The governor of the South Kivu province said 278 passengers were on board the boat. It sank while trying to dock just meters away from the port of Kituku, according to witnesses. The vessel was going from Minova in South Kivu province to Goma, in North Kivu province. It was the latest deadly boat accident in the Central African country, where overcrowding on vessels is often to blame. Maritime regulations also are often not followed. Vice President Kamala Harris rallied side by side with Republican Liz Cheney in the birthplace of the modern Republican Party on Thursday as the two women delivered a double barreled denunciation of GOP nominee Donald Trump as a threat to democracy. As people raised signs declaring, country over party, Harris told the crowd that people of every party must stand together to reject Trump, citing his refusal to accept the results of the 2020 election and his failure to quell the insurrection of. January 6, 2021. It was an improbable moment a Democratic nominee giving a nod to a rival party member and to the origins of the opposing party in the closing weeks of a presidential campaign and it demonstrated how Harris is working to win over moderate voters. The President of the United States must not look at our country through the narrow lens of ideology or party partisanship or self-interest, said Harris. Instead of her usual, Harris Walls, campaign signs, the stage was decorated with large signs that said, country over party, along with plenty of red, white and blue bunting. Harris was opening a two-day trip to Wisconsin and Michigan, and Trump was in Michigan on Thursday as the two candidates grapple for wins in the Blue Wall battleground states, which also include Pennsylvania. Harris on Friday will hold a campaign rally in Flint, Michigan, continuing her tour of states that have been critical to Democratic victories. Trump won Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and Michigan in 2016, and Biden won them in 2020. She possesses some of the qualities of character that I most respect in any individual and any leader. Courage especially at a moment like this, where there are so many powerful forces that have been intent on trying to demean and belittle and make people afraid. And there are many who know it is wrong, and then there are those who have the courage to speak out loudly about it, and the conviction to speak truth and, you know, it is so admirable when anyone does it, and especially when it is difficult to do in an environment such as this. But Liz Cheney really is a leader who puts country above party and above self, a true patriot. And it is my profound honor, my profound honor to have your support. As you said, we may not see eye to eye on every issue, um, and we are going to get back to a healthy two-party system, I am sure of that, where we will have vigorous debates. <laughs> Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. And the tragic truth, the tragic truth that we are facing in this election for President of the United States is that there is actually an honest question about whether one of the candidates will uphold the oath to the Constitution of the United States. 
I know the vast majority of us, regardless of your political party, agree we must hold sacred America's fundamental principles from the rule of law to free and fair elections to the peaceful transfer of power. Because the President of the United States must not look at our country through the narrow lens of ideology or petty partisanship or self-interest. The President of the United States must not look at our country as an instrument for their own ambitions. Our nation is not some spoil to be won. The United States of America is the greatest idea humanity ever devised. Well, I believe that in the global struggle between tyranny and democracy, the President of the United States must always be on the side of freedom.